Product control is responsible for reporting the financials, so the profit and loss, and in most cases, the balance sheet for a trading desk, but also for non-traded businesses. So you're probably thinking to yourself, Pete, that sounds pretty simple. Why would investment banks have to spend so much money on hiring technically skilled and big product control teams? Well, the reason for this is what's sitting in the PL on the balance sheet, and that is the financial instruments the business are trading. When your business trade a financial product, there's a number of different things that you need to be aware of. Number one, what risk is the desk now exposed to because they traded this product? Number two, how are we going to value this risk? So what are the pricing inputs? And where do we get those pricing inputs from to value the trade every single trading day? What are the life cycle events for this financial product? And they're going to be different for every single financial product which your desk trades. Can your system process these events correctly? You'll also need to understand what are the accounting rules for this financial product? And they differ depending on whether it's a derivative, a debt instrument, an equity instrument, for example. So this may be under one set of accounting rules, such as IFRS or US GAAP, or it could be under multiple GAAPs. So if that's not enough for you to worry about, how about we throw in some structured trades or complex financial instruments? Let's also throw in a demanding client like the trading desk. Let's add in some poor data and some broken systems. We'll overlay that with some regulatory requirements and tight deadlines. And because of all this, this is why investment banks spend so much money on product control. Well, I found product control to be very challenging, especially on the technical front. So if you're interested in the financial markets and you want to challenge yourself technically, this is the job for you. Now, product control is not a dead end. It can lead to other work opportunities. This is rare, but in some firms, they still allow product controllers to become traders in the front office. A lot of product controllers have moved on to become a CFO or a financial controller. Others have moved on to do a chief operating officer role or a business manager role. Some go on to do operational risk, audit, project management, and in some cases become chief data officers. 